Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. Let me ask you, when was the last time that you told someone what great things the Lord has done for you? As Christians, we must always remember that our commission is to go and tell. Jesus said as he was departing back to heaven, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Jesus gave us not only the commission to go and tell, but he also gave us the authority to go and tell. As we go and as we tell, we make disciples for the kingdom of God, which pleases the Father and brings glory to Him. And it should bring great joy to our hearts as well. Many times we feel afraid or timid to speak about the Lord Jesus and what He has done and is doing in our lives. But, beloved, remember that fear is not of God, for he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And he gives us this love, this power, and this sound mind to help us spread the good news of the gospel, to help us to lift burdens, to bring joy and encouragement to others. We may never know in this life how one word spoken from us regarding the things of the Lord may turn a life around and give them hope where there seems to be no hope. One of the ways that love and joy is perfected in our lives is to go and tell. Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. We have the authority to go and tell because Jesus chose us to do just that. He not only chose us, but he appointed us to bear fruit. The words of our lips can bear much fruit when coupled with the loving favor of God and obedience. Many of us are fearful to go and tell because we don't feel equipped or adequate in sharing the gospel. But that, beloved, is an easy fix. Get in the Word, make it a regular habit of reading and meditating on His precious Word, and you will be equipped. In fact, you will not be able to contain His words within you very long until you will feel compelled, as Jeremiah did when he said, His Word was in my heart. Like a burning fire shut up in my bones, I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. Maybe many of us are weary of our situations, our circumstances, and life because we are holding back the most precious thing that we can give to another human being, and that is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and His great love for all mankind. The word of God shall dwell so richly within us that we will have the answer for the right person at the right time. My oldest grandson says that I have a scripture for everything. I cannot help but let it out when needed because it is in me. And beloved, what is in us will always come out of us. Let me admonish you today not to neglect the word of God, to read it, to get it down in you and use it when necessary. I do want to say use wisdom when you use the word of God. God wants it to be effective, and Scripture tells us that a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. This means that a word spoken at the right time in the right circumstances is as precious, beautiful, and suitable as the combination of precious and beautiful metals. It will leave an impression on the heart of the one to which it was spoken. Beloved, you don't have to hold a degree in theology to go and tell. 
God is not interested in your degree as he is in your willingness to just go and tell what he has done for you personally. I will never forget while living in Portland, Oregon several years ago, while stopped at a light, an elderly woman with a cane pecked on my window and asked for a ride. I led her in and asked where I could take her. She directed me to the address of her destination, and while I continued to talk to her, she told me how she hitchhiked to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I asked her, aren't you afraid that you may get in the wrong car with the wrong person? She promptly told me, honey, the fear of man only brings a snare, but he who trusts in the Lord shall be safe. This woman was in her 80s. Now, I am not recommending you to hitchhike today and get in vehicles with total strangers, but I am recommending that whenever you have the chance to spread the good news of Jesus, do not be afraid to do so. We all have our gifts, our talents, and our abilities and our callings. Let us use them for the purpose of spreading this great love of Jesus Christ. Let us not be afraid and hide our talents in the ground, as told in the parable of Jesus. He said, For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his own ability. God knows us so well and knows what to entrust us with. And then it says that immediately he went on his journey. And then he returns. And of course, I'm sure all of you are aware of the parable of the five talents. When he returned, he had asked the one that had received five talents, came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five, and I have gained five more besides them. And his Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. And look, I have gained two more talents besides. And his Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. And then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. To everyone who has, more will be given." And he will have abundance, but from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. Beloved, we lose what we don't use. The Lord will never ask more of us than we are capable. He knows how to disperse his talents to each person. Jesus is coming back. He promised, and he always keeps his promises. And when he returns, he asks the question, Will I find faith on the earth? It takes faith to go and tell. It is the great commission to just go. Not how much we can do, but did we try to go and did we tell. This is faith to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.
Never miss your favorite show again. For more than 30 years, KNEO has been bringing you great Bible teachers on a local and national level. And now we've made it easier than ever to hear from these great men and women of God. KNEO's entire lineup is now available to listen anytime, anywhere through our website. Go to KNEO.org slash podcast to see all the options. You can search for programs alphabetically, or you can select individual categories like culture, kids, leadership, or music. We even have a category just for locally produced programs, so you can hear from pastors and spiritual leaders located right here in the four-state area. And all these resources are absolutely free. KNEO's mission is to get God's Word in front of you, and this is one of the ways we do it. Give it a try today. Go to KNEO.org and click on the podcast tab to get started.